bad news. I have red hair. I told you guys that I can't see close up very well and when I bought my hair dye this week, I uh, tried to read the box myself and I can't do it clearly. And I dyed my hair and I didn't know that it said it had red in it. I don't even know what color it was. I thought it said medium golden blonde, but apparently it did not. So anyways, the new Laura has red hair and I'm not gonna stress about it because you know what? Your color of hair is not who you are. Mom, how said. chubby you are is not how you who you are. How smart friendly. you are is not who you are. She's getting more friendly. You guys know what I'm saying. You are who your heart is. Your heart is who you are, you guys. Your heart. So uh, my heart is red like my hair. My heart is happy. My heart is loving. And that's all that matters. You guys know that we got these chickens a week ago. Tomorrow will be a week. And so we're gonna move them over with the big chickens now. And it's they've been next to them for a while. All right, you gotta, okay. Let me throw some, I got some green pepper. I grew these in my oh, garden. All right, now you're on door Oh, duty. they like some green pepper. You're on door duty. Oh, they need food too. All right, go. Whoever would have thought that my favorite chicken would be the would be the old lady. Mom, I love her. No. I love her, you guys. <laughs> I love her wrinkles. I love her sagginess. Look, she listened to me. She's listening to me. All right, it's time and it's shadow, scary. After Shadow, um, you like touch Shadow. He's like, oh, um, this is I hate, oops. Uh, oh, you be nice to my chickens. Don't be rude to Snow White. Oh, see, she likes Shadow. Two eggs. So Sophia's giving them more food and they're actually doing okay. And the reason that they're doing not too bad is because they got used to each other through the fence for almost a week. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it, she says. So I think it's gonna be okay. I think they're gonna accept them and let them into the flock. And now we have five chickens. Zoe be nice. Be yeah, Zoe, be nice. My favorite. Which one's your favorite, Sophie? Um, the gray ones. Yeah, the gray are cute, but she's mean. I like the old one. Look, mom, they're all being nice to her twins. I like my old girl. <laughs> Look at her. She's she. It's like she's posing. She said, "Look at me. Everybody thinks I'm old, but I'm still beautiful." So uh, today's daily video is going to be an adventure. It's going to be an adventure. We're going to drive a little ways and we're going to have an adventure. It's an adventure that started a while ago on our channel. Just this summer it started. And today's the day we're gonna finish this adventure. We're gonna find out what really happened to our baby raccoon. So you guys know that uh, we found a baby raccoon and the mother was dead and it was young and it was all alone and it was on the road. We just saw something crazy in the road. There was a dead raccoon and she is squished and there's a baby on her. I'm gonna go and see if I can catch it. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's probably so scared. Gabby had to catch him. He went running. Yeah, we were worried it was gonna get hurt and so we brought it home knowing that we could take it to a, to a rehab place and so I phoned our rehab place I phoned two of them we have two places and the first one it said they're completely closed for intakes they had no more room for any more um, rescues and that happens in this area our rescues get filled up early in the summer and late in the spring and then there's no room for any other ones and so I phoned her other one and I have friends at the other one and I have pe and I know people at the other one and so the girl that answered the phone said oh of course we will take him and I was like oh that's so good like thank goodness they have room for him and then I phoned my friend and I said oh you know at the place that you are they're gonna take in our little raccoon that we found and she said eh they're already full they're already completely full all we're doing now is taking them and euthanizing them. And I was like, uh, I don't want him euthanized. Like we loved him. And I know that that happens. I know that they get full and there's nothing they can do. It's not that they want to euthanize them. It's just that they only have so much room and so many hands and so much food. Like you can't save them all. And so we had to make a choice, either take him there and he would be euthanized or find something better. And so you guys know me, I just said, you know what, it's not 
in my hands anymore. I just have to give him where he needs to go and let them deal with it. And I took him to be youth and I was just joking. That is not me. I'm a fighter. <laughs> and so we made other plans and we made other decisions and we took him someplace else. And today I'm going to share that with you guys. Okay. So today our little, today our video has brought us to a park. That's ours. And it says that they have deer and raccoons and squirrels and chipmunks and swans and geese and ducks and turkeys and oh. all these birds. So basically, oh my gosh, there's geese already. So already we're running up on a pile of geese. Let's, let's go pet them. Wow, this is not in our city and it's a good thing because we'd be here every day. Oh, we are gonna be here every day. So this is where the geese live and you can throw them food. And there's ducks. Oh, look at the babies! No, those are ducks. Oh. No, it's looking for food. I actually think I have some food in my purse. Okay, give me some food. Look at the duck! He's like, give me that food. Why wouldn't anybody who lives close to here be here every day? Just put it in the palm of your hand. Oh. Maybe he didn't like it. Give it to the goose. Give it to the goose. Oh, he doesn't oh. like it. That one wants it. Oh my gosh. Where do you put it? Right. Yep. Okay. You want it? Oh, Give it to the goose. Who wants it? You don't like it. Well, that's a different one. No, that's the same one. It doesn't like it. Do you want it? Are you not friendly? There's a little chipmunk. He's looking at Sophie. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'd be freaking out. Oh, look at the birds. So you guys that know. <laughs> look at all the birds. Like this is this is not like all this is is just oh, my hair is red. Make out! This is just like a little park, a little nature hey, trail. Us. <laughs> and all the animals. Like I phoned my sister and the ducks were following us. We were just walking and the ducks were following oh, yeah. us. Right, so there's squirrels. We just saw a squirrel. Remember when we had baby squirrels? We should have released them here. Yeah, we've had squirrels. Like anyways, so oh another chipmunk going down the tree there. Miko. You see him? See him? Michael is the pick Miko up. So essentially, once I found out that they were just gonna put him to sleep. I was gonna, I was like, mm, can't do that. So I found another friend. I have a lot of, I have a lot of connections in the animal world. And she said, Laura, I have the perfect place for him. There's this park near us that has families of raccoons oh that are fed by the people that come to see them and live in this little park. And, and they're all used to people because you know, the raccoon we had was used to people. And so, I was like, well, yeah, that kind of sounds like a good situation for him. I, I just couldn't imagine it, taking him out into the woods someplace and leaving him and letting him fend for himself. Um, so this was kind of like the perfect situation because there would be people to make sure that he was okay and the people wouldn't be shocked that he was coming up to them. All right, so now we just met a turkey. And I don't mean Sophie, I mean a real turkey. <laughs> Supposed to be calling his name. Miko! Oh, there's another turkey up there. Oh, there's turkeys turkey. all over. Holy heck. <laughs> turkeys there. everywhere. More turkeys. Oh there. my gosh. We're coming here with the grandkids. Good thing. This is insane. Hey, turkeys. It said no hunting? Yeah. Look at him. Oh, oh that's eating a peanut. Yeah, lots of peanuts here. If you see peanuts, that means we're close. Miko! Miko! Come on, Miko! 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 Oh, I heard it. Miko! 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 So, anyways. I wonder what these are called. I ended up. I ended up. Stick the camera in that hole. <laughs> I don't want to put my face in it. So, he does have a hole that's his house. Suddenly, a claw comes up and grabs the camera. Oh, oh! There's, there's food here for us. Oh. Miko! Come on, Miko! So yeah, so my friend's like, let's release him here. So I gave him to my friend and she took him and she did a bunch of stuff with him, teaching him how to climb trees and all that kind of stuff. And then when it, the timing was right, she brought him to this little park 
and she brought him with food. What and way did we go? Oh man. That way. What way? I'm gonna go that way. That's when we go in a circle. Come on, Miko! She said you'll see them. So, anyways, we. So anyways, when the timing was right, she brought him here. She brought him food. They stayed with him for a while. She brought him right over where the raccoons family were. There were eight other raccoons, four adults and four babies. And, whoa. And she came every single day. Some At the beginning, she came like two times a day. And then she got down to finally coming one time a day and bringing him food and making sure he's okay. And he's been out here for a while now. And she comes all the time. She sends me updates on him. And we decided to come and see him in his new little home. The only thing that she didn't tell me was that there's like a million paths and woods. She made it sound like I'd be able to just come here and find him. And I'm not finding him. Nico! Everywhere we go, we see like food left for the animals. The second day after she came, you see them? she that couldn't find weird. him and it turned and so she stayed for a long time looking for him and it turned out that he had found a tree trunk and gotten right down inside of it and it was his home and that's where he is all the time. And he sleeps till around four <laughs> and then he comes out to play. So the path turns into like a hundred different paths. Like how the heck? Okay, so those leads to a road. Okay, that leads to a road. That does too. So down here. Yeah, all right, let's go down there. Follow Sophie, she's gonna lead us to this boy. The trouble is. Never follow me! <laughs> Sisters, I'm the same. So, yeah, we're obviously going through the woods, through the poison ivy. Oh. Miko! Miko! I love you, they like mushrooms. So, the problem is we had to drive quite a ways here and we didn't think it was that far, and it was. And Sophia's riding lessons at the other barn on Sparky today. Uh, this and we have to be back. So, this is, this is not, this just leads to the road too. Alright, let's go back where we were. So, if we don't get to see him today, I'll send you, I'll show you guys some video of him, of her sending me updates on him. And then, we'll come back again, maybe with the grandkids, because... Who wouldn't want to come here? It's so amazing. I notice all the animals stay right at the front by the parking lot though. I know, but look, he looks hurt. He just definitely hurt. Okay. Should we rescue him too? Yep, <laughs> take him home. So that's what's great about this, is that everybody knows that the animals live here. Whoa. Yeah, they all just come up here. And that no, no animals can be taken out of here. Like, this is their home. Is that him? So it's also a really hot day and usually like raccoons sleep all day and only wake up when it starts to get a little bit cooler. Oh, I don't see any raccoon. Oh my God. Miko! Yeah, they're mean to him. Sophie, sit down there and help. Can you go feed a dog? Do you want some of these? Sure. That's not him, you guys. That's a mama. And now the ducks are coming. Come on, little duckies. Wish that I could stay in this moment forever so I can hold you in my arms. I will carry you on my shoulders as long as I'm the monsters under your bed Deep and abiding Liking for you Is all I need Until my heart gives in I will do everything I can For you Come here Come here, I like animals oh. Okay Come on Mama, oh come on! What the heck? Come here. She doesn't like what I have. They must love this free food. Did you give the ducks the food? They're running away from me. Oh. Listen, Mama. She runs. She runs. She takes it from everybody but me. Come on. Me. Come on. Oh, she's shy. She hears people coming. Figures. 
anybody but me. It's just so not fair, but she comes all the time. All right, you guys, wasn't this so cool? Where, um, all the ducks were. All right, we should get going. So this is the mom's babies. They're bigger than him. Are they bigger than Miko? Yeah. Well, well, about the same size. About the same size? Hello, baby. Look at, I got some. Could you come to me? Because nobody comes to me. So cute. So these ones have been here. I don't know. Oh, they found them. Um, they found them. Um. Oh, hello. Do you remember us? <laughs> oh, he's hungry. He's really little. Oh, hi. We remember. Do you remember us? Can remember? I think he remembers. Oh, he does. Who's that? See, isn't he getting so big? Uh, well, he's smaller than the others. He looks like frantically hungry. Is he? No, this mm -hmm. is just all they he do. literally will eat all the time. Well, hello. Aren't you lucky you didn't get put to sleep? You have such a good life. <laughs> the same as before. Once he eats, he gets rambunctious. So yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. So when we had him. He was potty trained. He'd find a pee pad and only go to the bathroom on a pee pad. <laughs> You're falling. You're falling. Okay. Okay. He probably wants your bag. All right. There he is. Do you remember? You used to climb in my purse. I know. That's what he does every single Do you remember me? He doesn't remember me. You remember Sophie? I put some of these in it. He loves marshmallows. Hi. Oh, so he's not friends with the other raccoons yet, but he has them here and he can watch them and he can learn from them and he's staying safe. Where's his house? Far from here? I don't know if he changed it. Yeah, see, he doesn't like the mom. He doesn't like the mom. He gets scared because the mom gets all dumb. Yeah, because she's mean. She's a big, mad, mean mom. I usually put a pile over there and then I get Oh, if you leave a pile for her, then we can feed him. And he won't be scared. But at least he's learning, you guys. Like, it was a bad situation. Just one random raccoon. She even brought a toy for him. It's his toy. I fed the duck. They're like, I don't like it. Well, we have to go because Sam will be freaking out saying we have to go but I'm so glad we got to see him again and I love that he he remembered Sophie for sure he's like it's supper time do you come every day not every day well you used to and then we're now coming we every go. day now we let him fend for himself yeah, yeah let him so. fend for himself a little and he's doing good he's like got some chub on him yeah, his belly's is there oh yeah there's a water near here there's a big yeah. pond which he finally is going down now. Yeah. I got you new cereal. Do you like this one? That's amazing. Okay, well, we better go. All animals love Sophie. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.